back wall of the legislative chambers. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll begin with the agenda for the Douglas County Board of Equalization. Roll call, please. Good morning. Commissioner Boyle, Commissioner Cavanaugh, Commissioner Duda, Commissioner Kraft, Commissioner Morgan, Commissioner Rogers, Madam Chair. Here, item A, approval of the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held Tuesday, May 24th, 2016. And item B, call for a meeting and set Tuesday, June 14th, 2016 as date for hearing on certified assessment corrections reflecting the addition of omitted property to the tax rolls or increased value on property. Is there a motion to approve A and B? So moved. Motion by Kraft, seconded by Rogers. Any questions or comments? Please vote. Mr. Cavanaugh. Motion passes. Item C, citizen comments. Is there anyone in the chamber wishing to speak to the board about an item not on the agenda? Seeing none, we have um, two resolutions and we'll take these separately because we do have a citizen here wishing to speak on item E. So is there approval of item D, approving application for tax exemptions on motor vehicles recommended for approval by the county treasurer? Second. Motion by Duda, seconded by Kraft. Any questions or comments? Please vote. Motion passes. Item E, disapproving applications for tax exemptions on motor vehicles recommended for approval by the county treasurer. This was held over from Tuesday, May 24th meeting. And um, we have uh, Ms. Stoner, I believe, I, uh, here to speak to us. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Diane Stoner. I'm here on behalf of First Covenant Church, located at 201 North 90th Street. And I'm here to protest Form 457 on our 2011 Ford van. Um, I had received the paperwork that was needed to fill out and I mistaken it for the uh, 2001 van that we had sold and so I just filed it away. Um, when our insurance cards came for renewal, I went and put those into the church van, realized my error and uh, promptly filled out Form 57 and submitted it. Okay. Um, so you're asking for that van to be tax exempt? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, is there... Anyone who would like to speak on this issue? Commissioner Boyle? Yes. Coming around here this morning. Um, it was a mistake. You just filed it away, and, and then you so you didn't ask for the uh, exemption. Is that correct? I, I did fill out the exemption form. The wrong form. Um, but it was obviously past, oh. the, past the date. Okay. Well, uh, the, the feeling that I have about this, and the, that I, I'm the one who usually makes the motion on this, and when the hearing is, uh, when at the appropriate time, I'll make the motion, but uh, is that, um, you know, the principle to me of uh, while we take a real close look at all the nonprofits that come before us, that um, there are uh, legitimate ones, and yours certainly is one, and entitled to the exemption. And the fact that uh, a ministerial deadline wasn't met to me is not significant enough to deny you the exemption that you're entitled to. So uh, unless there's other comment, I'll make a motion that we grant the relief that you seek. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Motion by Boyle, seconded by Commissioner Rogers to grant um, First Covenant, <coughs> First Covenant Church um, the exemption on their van. Any other questions or comments? Please vote. Commissioner Rogers. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And do we have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Motion by Boyle, seconded by Kraft. Please vote. Just one moment, please. Okay, okay thank you.
Motion passes. We will move to the agenda for the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Roll call, please. Commissioner Boyle. Here. Commissioner Cavanaugh. Here. Commissioner Duda. Here. Commissioner Kraft. Here. Commissioner Morgan. Here. Commissioner Rogers. Here. Madam Chair. Here. Item A, approval of the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held Tuesday, May 24, 2016. And item B, approval of claims submitted for payment process through Tuesday, June 7, 2016. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Kraft, seconded by... Commissioner Judah, <laughs> any questions or comments? <laughs> Please vote. Motion passes. Next is the consent agenda. Items A through O. Are there items that folks would like to take separately? Yes. Commissioner Judah? Thank you, uh, if I could ask for item O to be separated so that I might abstain, please. Okay. Anyone else? I have something. I'm trying to get my... Here we go. Uh, I have a question on um, uh, K. Okay. And my question is, um, uh, the uh, this is a resolution that uh, names uh, Aon Risk Solutions as the um, agent, broker agent of record. Right. And... Um, we still have uh, other companies involved, Davis and so forth? Yes. Okay. Good. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Then is there a motion to approve the consent items A through N? <coughs> so moved. Second. Motion by Duda, seconded by Kraft. Any other questions or comments? I have one on N. Can someone, uh -huh. uh, what's the demand, of, what's the refund that's in dispute? Oh, good thing you said that because <coughs> this um, one, um, we have received a letter way back when um, and we give we gave it to Mr. Goodwillie in the assessor's office and then Ms. Gard is asking that we lay this over um, and she didn't really say what time line but um, she is asking she is requesting that it be laid over Mike, okay. Mike Goodwillie Douglas County Assessor's Office um, yeah on, on well let me give you the back story and then the in the spirit of comedy, I'll do it as civilly as I can. Um, yeah, uh, this is a dispute that goes back a long ways over the value of a residential property. Um, the taxpayer uh, appealed to Turk uh, way back in 2008. Uh, it took a number of years to get resolved. I don't think the commission resolved it until 2014. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there were no uh, additional, I guess there was a protest in 2010 on the same property for the same issue, uh, but it was unsuccessful. Uh, there were no Turk appeals, so as each year expired, um, there was nothing further. The Turk resolved the case in the taxpayer's favor in 2014, um, and she had also filed uh, a protest and appeal on the same issue in 2014. Uh, so in 2015, uh, our office met with her uh, to try and resolve the 2014 uh, Turk case and then get value set for 2015 going forward. What this is about are the intervening years 2008 through 2013. And I think we have a fundamental misunderstanding uh, about the nature of uh, refunds and when one is eligible for a refund for prior years. Now, on Ms. Gard's agenda request form, Yeah, it, it sounds like she she uh, and so we made a recommendation to the uh, we made a recommendation to the treasurer's office that the refund claim for 2009 through 13 inclusive be denied. Um, now on the agenda request form, it's either to deny the treasurer resolution, approve the claim, or or lay it over. Has she spoken to you since then, or? Yes, she. Oh, okay. Yesterday she asked. She said she wasn't for sure that she would make it down here. Oh, okay. Um, with her representative, and so she was asking that we lay this over. Um, so, I, I'll just lay it over for ask no. that it be laid over for a week, and mm -hmm. then we'll see how it goes. Commissioner Boyle. I have a question. In the meantime, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, 
the allegation that three vehicles have come crashing through uh, under their property, is there any truth to that or does that make any difference to you? Well, it's all those things that, uh, that's what initially started this off. And I don't know if the number is three. I know there was one for certain that led to the 2008 protest. Um, but I think really what the issue is, um, is the finality of years 2009 through 13 when there hasn't been a protest or a Turk appeal. Um, our Supreme Court has been quite clear that each year stands on its own. And in fact, in the, in the case of this taxpayer and everybody else that has an ongoing Turk appeal, we send a letter at about this time of year that says, look, we understand you have a Turk appeal, um, but that's not dispositive. I mean, it doesn't cover uh, this year as a blanket. So if you're is dissatisfied with the value, you need to go through the, you need to go through the process again. Well, let me ask you. And question. we advised we advised the guards in nine, ten, and eleven uh, of that fact. Let me ask you a question. Uh, I I remember, um, and maybe I, uh, well, I think I followed the law. Uh, it was at 120th, and it was not this property, but 120th and Blondo. Uh, there was a home on the northwest corner that backed up to the 120th and. And the traffic noise and the condition of the property was affected by road construction and damage sure. the foundation and so forth. And so we were able, I was able, and I think under the law, to give a reduction in the valuation because of the situation, the condition of the property. And it seems to me that I mean I've read um, on uh, different valuation reports when property uh, when the valuation is determined, there'll be things such as uh, heavy traffic if you're on Dodge Street. Sure, our appraisers talk about that as a locational adjustment. Okay, well how about this? I mean, it looks to me like this must be some kind of a T-intersection or something that's... Yeah, you, you come up the hill, you come up the hill on Miracle Hills Drive and reach that T-intersection of 120th and there's a light and the guards are on the other side of 120th. Can you relate this to, to something on 72nd Street? I, I can't get 120th in my head. Well, I, I, Commissioner, <laughs> Commissioner, I sort of struggle with that too. No, I'm joking. <clears throat> and it's not a joking matter, but uh, I guess the point of it is, uh, you know, I, I really think this, having read this, it seems to me like this taxpayer is entitled to some relief from somebody. I mean, if you've got cars driving into your yard, your house isn't worth that much. As well, well as, but, know, but I think, no, but I think from a process standpoint, while that was all pending, there did need to be, you know, because each year stands on its own and because the court's quite explicit well, that you, you don't, don't get to go back for, for any let, reason. Don't let the process get in the way of fairness. Well, <laughs> seriously. I mean, I, I think that, you know, and what is she talking about? What's the, what is the final, what do you think she'd like to see her property reduced to? Well, in, in, for, in 2014, we settled her Turk case at 107100 That was the value? Yeah. Okay, and She so had been at 124.1, I think. Give me a second. I'm going to ask Mr. Morgison to... Uh, Morgison. Morgison, uh, really? <laughs> Morgan. Wow. Commissioner Morgan. I, the use mind <laughs> calculus up here to the, the, the mind Morgan's the mind <laughs> reels. Um, yeah, we had it. We we had it one twenty four seven for twenty fourteen and fifteen. Uh, we reduced it to one oh seven one. Okay, and uh, <laughs> you know I've done that before. Where I've called him Morgison. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> anyway, and it was every bit as jarring and appalling. I those think times. that's right. <laughs> that's right. But I would seriously like to ask. Uh, you know, here we are, we're talking about a valuation from, <clears throat> excuse me, 124000 down to one hundred seven. You know, uh, what is what is that besides the, the difference? You know, it's uh, what? Uh, is that 22% reduction. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's what, 124000 to one hundred seven is, uh, uh, what, 17000 Actually, Commissioner, I, I took the liberty of doing a little bit of math, okay. and I realized part of the reason I went to law school is because I was too bad at math to uh, be an too. accountant. But, but nonetheless, I have, I, have my, I have my shoes off if, right now. If you, yeah. <laughs> no, nonetheless, uh, the difference between 124.7 and 107.1 times the five years on the table works yep. out to about 88000 if you multiply it by a rough 2% tax rate, it's about $6,700 in tax. Okay, so this is what we're spending our time on. Well. I, you know, I just think there's a, a time, you know, when uh, I remember when the city attorney, Herb Fiddle, rest his soul, came to me one time. We talked about 
the number of cases and he was concerned that i thought he was not doing a good job if they weren't winning and i said no when you settle a case that's fine with me if you think it should be settled well this is one of those cases where we're spending the money you know the wages and your salary and all the others people involved plus the agony of the taxpayer for uh you know six thousand dollars i mean in the scheme of things i i just think we ought to let it go i think she's got a case and i i don't want to beat her up for this little bout of money and uh i think she's got a point that's my feeling so i guess i'll talk about it when she shows up but i think we ought to you ought to consider letting this go that's my thought okay um I do have a question. If we're going to lay over item N, item F is also related to. Sure, that was the initial. That was the initial refund claim that we made a recommendation on. And so, whatever you do with F, you probably with N, you probably have to do with F. I mean, because right. they're mutually contradictory. Um, right. You know, that's why I'm glad uh, that somebody brought this up because yes, if you consented and adopted both. You know, and adopted both resolutions, it would be a real head scratcher in terms of what to do. Right. So um, the motion w for that would be to lay over N and, and F. F. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, motion by Commissioner Boyle, seconded by Commissioner Duda for laying over N and F. Yes. Okay. Please vote on uh, that. Actually, give us one second here. Okay. Well, so we're, we're, just, we're just voting on the layover. Just on the yeah. layover okay. for N and F. All right, give us a few and moments then you'll, then you'll be able to get to commissioners, firemen, and drinking beer. And yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the important stuff. <laughs> well, you know, besides hitting something with an axe, why else would you join the volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Drive your car fast, your truck, drive your truck real fast down the street. That's clear. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. God, I keep on shutting this off. And then I would need a motion uh, Commissioner for. Commissioner Boyle. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops, sorry. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Motion <laughs> passes. Motion uh, to approve the consent agenda, less item F, N, and O. We did have a motion by uh, Duda and Kraft to. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but always taken out. Correct. Okay. Yep. Please vote. Yeah, sorry. One more. One more. A few more moments, please. <laughs> Okay, thank you. But, but yes, okay, thank motion you. passes. And now do we have a motion for item O, approving the special designated liquor license for Ponca Hills Volunteer Fire Department? I think we should discuss this one for an hour or two <laughs> and, and then reject it. Motion by Commissioner Boyle. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Morgan. Please vote. Oh, oh yes. It, it can wait till I, it okay. Might have to go quick more. Okay. Right. I have a question on this. Were we invited? Oh, no. I think that's what he wants to do here. <laughs> I will invite almost everybody. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Motion passes. <laughs> Madam Chair, if, if I may, yes. very quickly, I just want to say our, our little Ponca Hills Fire Department, we get two liquor licenses every year, dance in June, barbecue in August. Um, the state, something fell through the cracks on our, we had our dance was last Saturday, just a couple nights ago. And as of Friday, we didn't have our liquor license from the state. And I just want to personally thank our county clerk who individually contacted liquor control commissioners to make this happen. He hand delivered the liquor license to brought it out to the, our president of our fire department. Dan made it happen. He, he's a he's a hero in our little fire department right now. Mm 
Got to have that beer. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Did you buy him a beer? He never showed up. <laughs> All right, good job. Um, recognition, there is one recognition um, of a county employee, Paul Willis, who is retiring from the Douglas County Department of Corrections after 19 years. We wish him uh, a very successful retirement and thank him for his service. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Bo Boyle, seconded by Commissioner Morgan. Please vote. Um, citizen comments, is there anyone in the chamber wishing to speak to the Board of Commissioners about an item not on the agenda? Seeing none, we will move to committees. The first is the budget report as presented unless someone has um, any questions or comments. And there are the Finance Committee minute, meeting minutes that um, can be found as an attachment from our previous meeting of May 3rd. Um, any questions on that? And we have a meeting Following after this. executive mm -hmm. session or whatever. Yep. yep. So. Okay. Okay. Um, next is human resources, the weekly personnel report from civil service as presented, unless someone has a question or comment. And then um, legislative issues. And we do have need for an executive session for litigation and personnel. Is there a motion to go into executive so session? So moved. Second. And if I may have a moment. Commissioner Kraft. Yes. Uh, on the 14th at 8 a.m., we will have a uh, community service meeting, and we've got a fairly full agenda. I'll be there. Thank you. All right. So um, executive session, please no, vote. Three. Good job in the meeting. Nice. Commissioner yeah. Rogers. Commissioner Boyle. There, motion passes. Um, I'd like a, uh, um, thank you, Sam. Point of personal privilege. Um, at the risk of, uh, I guess, uh, being a little dramatic, I don't mean to be. Uh, but uh, recent developments on the national political scene have really uh, has really caused me a lot of concern, and it's the the latest attack um, against a, a judge of Hispanic uh, heritage. Um, the area I represent um, is um, the state's really original melting pot, and I don't think any of the uh, Hispanic people there appreciate the being singled out. I don't think the Czechs do, and I think the Germans, and I know the Irish don't. Um, and I uh, am just going to take a moment to ask um, uh, one from one county board member in one county um, of Nebraska to ask the governor to reconsider his support of Mr. Trump, or at least to ex express to him uh, his displeasure uh, over his singling out uh, this judge uh, based on his Hispanic heritage. Uh, a man who instantly was born in Indiana. So uh, those are my comments. Thank I you, hope I'm not Boyle. overreaching, but I feel very strongly about this. Thank you. With that, we will go into executive session.
Motion passes. Shining sea. 